Hello and welcome to our guide to help you manage your banking. My name is Laura and I will be taking you through this guide. Our video today is being interpreted by Jennifer. Today I will take you through part one of our guide where I will give you an introduction to banking and show you how you can open your own bank account. First of all, let's look at what a bank is. A bank is a safe place to keep your money. It is not safe to keep too much money in your house or in your wallet. You should only keep enough money for the small things that you may need to buy. The rest should be kept safely in your bank. But don't worry, you can take this money out anytime you need it. There are different ways you can take money from your bank account. I will cover these off later in the video. The bank can also help you pay your bills with the money in your account. For example, your electricity bill or your internet bill. I will show you more about this in our second part of the video. There are two different types of account you can open in a bank. The first is called a current account. A current account is where you keep your day-to-day -day money. This is money that you will use to pay your bills and do your shopping. You can arrange to have your wages or your social welfare payment paid directly into the bank. A member of staff in the bank will help you do this. There are a number of ways you can use the money in your current account. For example, you will be able to pay bills automatically or in your bank. You can take cash from an ATM machine. You can use your bank card to pay for things in shops. Or you can use online banking to manage your money. Because you can access money from your current account at any time, it is only a good idea to leave enough money for the things you may want to buy over a short period of time. For example, one month. The second type of account is called a savings account and this can also be known as a deposit account. A savings account is a good place to keep your money. If you are saving for something like a laptop, a holiday or a phone, this account lets you keep your money separate from your day-to-day -day money. You can build up your savings by putting money into your account regularly, for example every week or every month, or whenever you have it on a day-to-day -day basis. You can usually access your money from a savings account by going into the bank. Now we will go through the steps of how you can open your own bank account. Step 1. Choosing your bank. In Ireland, there are a number of banks to choose from. Irish post offices also offer bank accounts. Before choosing your bank, you should think about things like, is there a bank close to me? It is important that a bank is close to you if you have any questions about your account. Have your friends or family recommended a bank to you? And is there someone in your family or your friends that you trust that can help you with your banking? Step two, getting ready to open your account. Before opening the account, there are some things you should think about. Is there someone who you would like to help you with your banking? If there is, it's a really good idea to sit down with them in advance and decide how much support you need. For example, if you would like them to come with you to the bank to open your account, or if you would like their help going through your bank statements. You should also decide what money you want to put into your account. You might want to have money from your job or your social welfare paid directly into the bank. A member of staff in the bank will help you with this. You then need to think about what you want to use your money for. You may want to get a card to pay for things in shops or to take cash from an ATM machine. When using your card, 
always remember to keep your PIN number safe and secret. When you become more comfortable using your bank account, you may want to look to manage your account online. Online banking can be a handy way to manage your money. However, it also allows you to send money out of your account. So it's very important that you keep your debit card and login details safe and secret. Step three, making an appointment to open your account. Once you have decided which bank is right for you, you should make an appointment to open your account. It's very important to make an appointment in advance so you have enough time to go through everything with the bank staff member. The staff in the bank will be happy to help you and they'll tell you exactly what you need to open an account. On the day, you will need proof of identity, such as a passport. You will also need proof of address, such as an electricity bill or an internet bill. Be sure to let the bank know if you will need any help while you are there. For example, if you find it difficult to read or write, or if you would like to bring a trusted friend or family member with you. Step four, visiting the branch. The staff member will take as much time as you need to go through everything with you. They will ask you questions to make sure that we open the correct account for you. They may ask you questions like, what money will be going into your account? Where is the money coming from? And they will also check your documents and ask you to sign your name. You might also have some questions for the bank. For example, how can I access my money? How often will I get a statement? How can I check my balance? How much will this account cost me? Remember, if you are uncertain about anything, you don't need to agree to anything on the day. The bank will give you as much time as you need and they will write everything down for you and you can come back another day. That's it for part one of our guide. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you found the information useful. Join me again for part two of our guide where I will explain how you can make payments from your account and pay bills from your account. Thank you.